Good morning. I hope that you had a great first week back to school and you're finding your groove. Raise your hand if you like to eat. Who doesn't like to eat? Now take a few seconds to think of your favorite food. Popcorn is one of my favorites. I like to munch on this when I'm watching television. What if every morning you could open your front door, walk out onto the lawn, and pick up your favorite food? That would be great, wouldn't it? Today we're reading from the book of Exodus about a time when something almost exactly like that happened. God's people, the Israelites, had been held as prisoners for a long time in Egypt. When they were finally freed and left Egypt, they were looking for the land that God had promised them. After they had been wandering around, lost in the desert for a couple of months, the people started to grumble and complain against their leaders, Moses and his brother Aaron. We had it better when we were in Egypt, they complained. At least we had plenty to eat. You have brought us out here in the desert to starve us to death. God heard the people complaining and told Moses and that in the evening he would send birds called quail to cover the camp so that the people would have meat to eat. Not only that, but in the morning, after the dew was gone, there would be manna on the ground for everyone to eat. All they had to do was go out, pick it up, and eat it. Now you may be thinking, why did God do this for those grumblers and complainers? God did it so that they would know that God loved them and that God would take care of them. God hadn't brought them out of Egypt to let them starve in the desert. God was going to see to it that they made it into the land which God had promised them. Sometimes you and I grumble and complain, don't we? What are some of the times and situations in your life that cause you to complain? We forget that God loves us, God hears us, and God provides us with everything that we need. Instead of grumbling and complaining, we can say, thank you, God. So let's do that right now. Dear God, sometimes we grumble and complain. When we do, help us to remember that every good thing we have comes from you. Amen. I look forward to seeing you on Monday evening Sunday School Zoom at 7 p.m.